Welcome back to another episode of The Agent Goldmine. And in today's episode, we are talking social media content strategy for the next year, because I'm already thinking about how to structure my content and what to do, how to make sure that my effort isn't wasted and my time isn't wasted. So I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, copy and paste or do your own thing, modify it, whatever, but I'm sharing what I'm doing for 2025. We're recording this right now and it's it's October 2024, so that's how far in advance I'm thinking about this shit. Welcome to the Agent Goldmine, the only podcast in the world specifically for real estate agents who are stuck at five transactions a year to help them get to 20 plus. Your hosts, Ali Garced and Shelby Johnson, two EXP icon agents, each do over 40 transactions a year and interview others who are crushing it. In this podcast, you'll receive the knowledge to help you scale your business using systems and processes with our interviews and monologues twice a week. If you want to be a part of our community, reach out. Welcome to the show. Have you started thinking about your content strategy, Shelby? Mm, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole strategy that I've thought through for 2024 that I've yet to fully implement. So um, <clears throat> still there. Thanks, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to throw you under the bus. It's okay. I just back up, do it again. It's fine. That's funny. I don't care. So for those that don't know, I had a, I had a a VA that would specifically just cop like cross post. So I primarily am on Facebook and Instagram, but to be everywhere, I used to pay a VA a dollar a day per platform to just post what I already posted on Instagram and just copy and paste it over to LinkedIn and TikTok and YouTube and blah, 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 blah. Well, I'll, you know what? I'll name all the others. I'm on eight. So Threads, X, which is formerly known as Twitter, Facebook Business, Facebook Personal, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube. So, th- so those are my eight. And so I would have the VA copy and paste whatever I was posting on Instagram and just m- post it everywhere else. I used to think, I used to be overwhelmed and think that I needed to know the algorithm for every single platform, but posting something is better than posting nothing. And because if you wanted to optimize everything for that specific platform, that is a full-time job. You can do that, but that is full-time. So therefore you wouldn't have time for, to help it, to help out clients. So I, since then, uh, that VA went on to bigger and better things. He got a full salary job out in Dubai. He literally fired you. It's fine. (laughs) Actually, he slow quit. (laughs) Dude, he slow quit, which is another lesson. Like if you... You know, you know, like if you hired a VA and which is we're in the middle of our like VA segment too. So this goes kind of well, you will get that gut feeling. Hey, this guy's starting to ghost me. I think he's going to quit. If you are thinking that they definitely think that and they're planning it. So just cut the cord. Don't make my mistake of hoping that maybe one day he'll come back because they won't. (laughs) They're going to leave you. So (laughs) where was I going with this? Okay. So now what I'm doing that is back on me to copy and paste it and just post it everywhere else. So there are some AI stuff, repurpose.io, that where you can post some stuff everywhere, but it doesn't have all eight. And there was some tweak in it where I wasn't truly satisfied, so I didn't use it. So now it's back to just me doing it manually because I'd rather post and ghost on LinkedIn, post and ghost on TikTok, and at least I'm there, you know? So thinking about that, you have to make sure that your call to action isn't just DM me at XYZ. Because if they're DMing you on LinkedIn, if they're DMing you on TikTok and you're not there, you know, you gotta, you gotta work that out. So overall, my content strategy is shifting the way, the way that I'm thinking about it is shifting for 2025. And I paid for a course with Lauren Tickner. And so I like Google her, LinkedIn, her, whatever it is. I think she's like pretty smart when it comes to social media and branding and turning it into, turning social media into sales. So I am teaching all of the agents that join our community, like everything of what I know of what Lauren's teaching, but I'm going to teach, I'm going to tell everyone here the basics. And the basics is I had never thought about social media in the three different categories of which I think about it now, which is top of funnel middle of funnel and bottom of funnel. In the beginning, when I first got licensed, everything was bottle of bottom of funnel. I was like, yo, if you're moving to Tucson, call me. If you're PCSing to Montana, I got an agent for you, which, and everything was like a strong call to action. Everything was just like, Hey, me talking to the, my ideal audience 
of, uh, and just like sales, sales, sales. And because of that, maybe because of that, maybe it's also because of my, I don't know what else, but because of that, it, that, that your social media doesn't really grow. You know, if you're always just call to action, call to action, like call me, call me, call me. There's no reason for your social media to, to truly grow. So with the top of funnel, middle of funnel and bottom of funnel, each one has a, obviously a different intent and purpose, but each one serves your, your, your social media differently. So for example, top of funnel is meant to not necessarily go viral, but definitely to reach more people that don't know who you are because you're not being salesy. And I never thought about not being salesy. I'm like, dude, I'm a business owner. I'm going to be salesy. You know, like I want you to know I'm in fucking real estate. So that's like kind of new to me, you know, like making kind of like generic content. And I don't mean boring. So don't confuse generic with boring, but content that can appeal to the masses to get more eyeballs. And that's purely just for, to expand your reach. No call to action there. And I'm going to break down, I'm going to go through each of these three in a second. But that's how I'm thinking about it now going into 2025. Do you have any questions? I don't have any questions right now. I, I will if you don't hit them, but I don't want to keep going. Your flow is very good. Soothing. We're good. Cool. Soothing. Ooh, soothing. So the first thing before I get into the, into the specifics of the top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel is you want to make sure, and Shelby, it, we've covered this before, you want to make sure that your your social media is already is beefy and SEO friendly and finished before you even start posting. Because if you're going to post good shit and you're going to be wasting your time if you're bringing people to your page and your page doesn't even talk to your ideal client. So I was talking to an agent the other day and I was like, I was doing a social media audit and I was like, cool, what's your avatar? Because it doesn't even show what city you're working. Dude, where, where are you working in right now? And I was like, what's your avatar? And he was like, what? <laughs> Which is okay, <laughs> but you want to make sure that you know in, in the beginning, it's okay. It's not okay after. You want to make sure that you're talking to the uh, your ideal client. Who is your ideal client? We've harped on this so many times, so I'm not even... Oh, but with that, what? just to harp a little more, because it's happened to me within the past week, I'd be like, something funny or cool would pop up, like agent related, and I would click their profile, and I could not find their location, which is crazy. If you're a real estate agent... You have to like people have to know where you are. <laughs> like, it should work because it should not be work for me. The minute that it's work for me to try to find out where you're located, I'm done. I'm already moved on. If you're looking to change brokerages this year so you can increase your business and you want to join us at eXp Realty and would like either myself, Ali Garced, or Shelby Johnson to personally sponsor you in, so that way you have access to two icon agents, text the word JOIN to either my number, 914-318-4918, or Shelby's number, 859-267-3849. If I sponsor you and you have access to the both of us and everything that's Five Pillars Nation, we have the checklist, the systems, the processes to help you scale your business. And don't take our word for it. We've had agents switch brokerages to join us that were stuck making $300,000 GCI and they join us so they can scale. So text the word join to those numbers and we'll take the next steps. Yeah, no, no. That's that's exactly what was with this with this dude. His his only location, you had to click on the link that took you outside of the platform. So no, no one's going to do that. They're going to instead go back and like search for you know, whatever, Tennessee realtor, whatever. So, okay. Continuing to talk about your profile, like at a glance, when people go to your profile, this is, so they see a funny reel and they're like, oh shit, what's this? This might, this might help me. I might want to follow them. They click on your profile. If it doesn't, tell that person, I am the agent for you. All of your efforts in making that content was wasted. So you want to make sure that this is set up first and it's really not that complicated. There is no like secret sauce. It's telling them where you are <laughs> and who you want to work with. And the, the best part about this is you get to fucking decide who you want to work with. If you want to work seniors that are going into assisted living and selling their last house. If you want to work first time home buyers or military members that are PCSing, use those keywords. So use those keywords in the phrase of what Lauren Tickner calls an impact statement. An impact statement should be emotional. It should, you know, get some emotion and 
you should also be talking to the specific person using those key terms and the pain points that that avatar, that your client is facing. So for example, mine is a little bit different because yes, I still sell, but also what I found even more rewarding aside from just helping buyers and sellers is helping real estate agents leave the military to become a full-time real estate agent. Cause that's what I did. And I fucking, I like, I, I hated being in the military and I love being an agent. And if I could share this with anybody else, I'm like, dude, this, this, I'm all about this. So my impact statement, take it, take with it what you will. It's, but the, the formula is helping X achieve Y. So for example, I help real estate agents make $120,000 their first year with us through YouTube and social media. So yours could be helping military members PCS successfully, although the word successfully is very, very long and takes up a lot of characters, or PCS fast, PCS with ease, without, you know, pain point. So you want to use, as as you're talking to clients, if you don't already have this, it's it would be really good to either save in your in your notes on your iPhone or a Google Excel but create something called a pain slash gain list where you're just dumping the keywords that are frustration points, but then also their goals. You know, like what are all of the ways that people are frustrated? What are their words, not yours, their words, and what are their words for their goals? You know, because what you might think is their goal may not be their goal. And if you're not, if you're talking about your goal and it's, it doesn't, they don't give a shit about your goal, then you just miss that opportunity. Okay. So I got the profile set up. It makes sense. Very clear. So you mentioned earlier that you were going to run through the top, mid, bottom funnel stuff in more detail. Would you like to do that now? Is there something else you'd like to do first? Let's do that now. Yeah. So now that you have, you know, of course, we're not going to go through every single profile. You can, you can YouTube this and make sure that every single profile is optimized so, you know, LinkedIn, there are multiple ways to like, I, I just came across that. I didn't know that there was a whole about me section in the middle of LinkedIn. What the hell? That was empty. <laughs> that was empty. Oh man. So make sure that all your profiles are optimized. And so obviously that means thinking about who the hell you want to work with. Do you want to work buyers? Do you want to work sellers, et cetera. So now let's go into top of funnel. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go into the the calendar, the rotation, because you're going to have top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel. But when do you post each? And then I'll go into what specifically it is. So again, Lauren Tickner's shit, I think it's like super, super good right now. Those that have joined me in my community already uh, see this. Not everything. Don't worry, Lauren. Um, Okay. (laughs) So on Mondays is going to be top of funnel content. On Tuesdays is going to be middle of funnel. On Wednesdays is going to be middle of funnel again. On Thursdays is the only day of the week that you're going to post bottom of funnel. And on Fridays, top of funnel again. So it's not like a, you know, one to one. It's not an even ratio. You don't want to be sell, 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 which is what I was doing. I was doing bottom of funnel seven days out of the week. (laughs) And oops, I mean, it helped, but I could have got, I could have gotten a lot more had I done this schedule with more top of funnel. So two, this is posting, in case you couldn't tell, five days out of the week, not all seven. So of course, if you want to post more then sure, add another bottom of funnel, add another middle or whatever. So with top of funnel, which is going to be Mondays and Fridays, Who are you talking to at that point? Who is the target group? It's going to be people who don't know who you are. So give them a reason to follow you. The purpose of top of funnel is just to get more reach, reach more people. And the call to action is no call to action. You know, like you're not going to say, call me. You're not going to say, message me if you're looking to sell within 90 days. Your call to action by no call to action, it could just be like a follow for more, save for later, share with a friend. Those are like, the, the most generic calls to action that you, I think you always do want to have a call to action in every single piece of content because you don't know what is going to go viral. So if, if a video goes viral and you never even said save or follow for more, you d- actually did miss out on a lot of opportunity because people need to be told what to do. So that is Monday and Friday. As far as what to actually put, it's going to be things that would apply to the masses. So if you're working with buyers or sellers, make stuff that, that is very generic, that can apply to the entire U S 
you know, because you want the way that you want to think about this is how can I get somebody to share this? How can I get somebody to look at this piece of content and think, oh my God, that's me and my sister. Let me share this with my sister. You know, and that that is the intent, just just to get shares. And there are different ways to think about what to post, like how to make each content. So with this top of funnel, you could either do a story that could apply to the masses. You could do an observation. Hey, I've studied, uh, I've studied clients that have sold 10% higher than, than their neighbors. And these are the trends that I found. You can do a contrarian, like a something to elicit more anger, because that definitely works on social media. But you could do more insight. You could do authority, something that shows that you know what the hell you're talking about, that you, that you know what you're doing. Um, or you could do a list. So, you know, like when people see, when you see those uh, videos go viral, of a whiteboard in the background, people are like scratching off. Like, Don't do this, do this. That's, that's anything is a list. You know, top 10 cities to live in the US. That, is, that would be a top of funnel. So that's Monday and Friday. Any questions about top of funnel? No, this is really good information, Allie, by the way. This is super helpful, taking notes on all of it. And I'm sure that our listeners are too, so they can implement. Don't get overwhelmed as you're listening though, guys. It's just like everything. It is take the notes and then chunk it down into baby steps. One thing at a time. And if you just do 1% every day, then, you know, in a hundred years, you might be, you know, 10% of Ali Garza. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Keep trying though. Keep trying. <laughs> If you're looking to change brokerages this year so you can increase your business and you want to join us at eXp Realty and would like either myself, Ali Garced, or Shelby Johnson to personally sponsor you in, so that way you have access to two icon agents, text the word JOIN to either my number, 914-318-4918, or Shelby's number, 859-267-3849. If I sponsor you and you have access to the both of us and everything that's Five Pillars Nation, we have the checklist, the systems, the processes to help you scale your business. And don't take our word for it. We've had agents switch brokerages to join us that were stuck making $300,000 GCI and they join us so they can scale. So text the word join to those numbers and we'll take the next steps. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. 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 I love you. Keep Tuesday going. <laughs> Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We're going middle of funnel. Now, who are you talking to in the middle of funnel? This is, the target group is going to be people that are lurking, people that maybe watch your stories but never engage, people that see that that maybe give you a like here and there but never comment, people that never hit you up in the DMs but they they follow you. You know that they follow you, or are there people that you don't even know that they follow you, but they they're they're lurkers. They're in the they're in the corner. So what's the purpose of middle of funnel content is it's to turn those, I don't want to say stalkers, but lurkers into leads. It's to get them to raise their hands. So how do you get them to raise their hand? By giving something away, a little, a freebie, or it could be talking specifically about using the key terms from the pain gain list. And how do you get them to actually take that step and comment the word that you want them to comment or message you or do whatever call to action, the call to action would be to get an email or, you know, with many chat, it's super, super easy for 25 bucks a month. I highly suggest everyone get it. Even if you just have one, it's worth it. So with the call to action, it could be what a lot of people do. You've seen this before. Comment foodie for the list of the top five restaurants in St. Louis, Missouri. Comment seller guide for the top 10 mistakes that you don't want to make when you sell your house. Something like that. You know, like it's a freebie. You, when they click on that link or when they, te when they text that keyword, they're going to automatically get something in return. And you can even optimize that further to where the link that you send them, they can only access it if they give their email or phone number, whatever you're collecting. So that is middle of funnel. And so I'm, that's what I, I think I tend to see a lot of it's, you know, home buyer guide or top 10 mistakes, or, you know, I, I have one right now that I'm doing, which is the list of top 20 YouTube videos to make to start getting listings through YouTube. So that's my, that's my giveaway. So that's, that's middle of funnel Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Any questions? Quick one. I don't want to derail, but do you consider polls on your story 
like middle of because you're getting the lurkers to participate maybe not maybe not now maybe we talk that later keep going <laughs> yeah no 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 I, I i do yes the answer is yes uh, i do consider that a, a lurker raising their hand so at that point it's game on you have raised your hand i will answer your question i will be in your dms hey what about 3.7 per 75% interest rate would make you want to move you know slid right um, in there yeah yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> then bottom of funnel is going to be just once a week. If you're posting five days, five days a week, which you should at least bottom of funnel. So who, what, what the purpose of this is to actually, uh, it get people engaged, get people raising their hands and turn them into clients. So those that do, you know, like here and there, or just watch your stories, but watch every one of your stories, you know, get those people to raise their hand. That's the purpose of this, of this post. Now, what you do in order to, to get people to raise their hand is you give a, your call to action would be apply here, or obviously we're not selling many products, but like buy, buy with this link over here, 25% off, whatever it is. So mine is apply in my YouTube channel. I have two different options. And so one is if you know that you want to join us, just go ahead and with apply with the link below and you will start the, app, the application for eXp to join our community, get all of our resources. Or if you want like a one-on-one -on -one call beforehand, go ahead and schedule that too. So that that is a strong call to action. So that's what that purpose is. For real estate agents, that's that is not just saying, hey, I'll send you some freebie guide on on you know the best neighborhoods or the restaurants. Instead, that's if you know you want to buy in St. Paul within the next year, reach out to me, text the word St. Paul. And let's get started. Book a call with the link below. You can start a Calendly, which I live by, and have them just book a call with you. So that is bottom of the funnel. Let me see. Okay. And as you are posting, as you're posting this, whatever your primary platform is, you want to make sure that you are reposting this. You've already put a lot of effort, or even if it's half ass effort, you've already put effort into that one platform copy and paste that into all of the others. Even if it's a post and go situation, just be everywhere. Also, Shelby, you're going to be like super, super surprised, but I was on Canva last night. I hated it, but I was on Canva. No. Yeah. Because <laughs> I needed to update my, my LinkedIn banner. And yeah. I didn't realize that like it was actually kind of, it was Easy? easier than I thought. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Canva's not so bad. It's Allie. not so bad. Welcome I messed up on the YouTube banner, though. I, I searched YouTube, I searched YouTube banner and it was not the dimension. So I was like, this is a oh, pain in my ass. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it yeah, can be so, a pain in the ass, but I'm yeah. proud of you. Which, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now all of my banners are somewhat consistent, which I suggest you, the audience member, do the same. Facebook business, Facebook personal, threads, or is it threads? No, X has a banner. YouTube has a banner. I think those are the four that have banners. Make sure it's the same banner with that impact statement because you want to make it make sure it's fucking obvious that you are targeting xyz person that you are the agent for that person so have make sure that you go on go on canva and it could just be text in your photo that's it simple as shit but just get started so your homework today is to create an impact statement and <sighs> let us know what it is if you're watching totally. this on youtube drop it in the comments hit us up on instagram as far as what your impact statement is we're happy to help and that's it. Any closing thoughts, Shelby? Dude, I think that was great. I would like for us to do another show in the future where we dig into the how your flesh – I know we've done this before, but like your process again for how to sketch this out because it is a lot when you start thinking about it and you're like, oh, God, I'm going to implement all of these things and – I'm still like learning, trying to polish and, you know, whatever I can become overwhelming. So I would love to do your process around two. I don't even remember when we did it the first time. So no, but other than that, I think it was wonderful. This is amazing information. And yeah. Do you have anything else you want to say? Again, I attribute this to Lauren Tickner. I did not come up with this. I paid for her course. So if you want like the full, and if you're not part of our community at Five Pillars, pay for her course. It's fucking worth it. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. Be a bro and share this show. Bye. Bye.